Mark Anthony, how are you? Doing good, what's up? Good. Yeah, I mean, I know you've played various times this year. Obviously, you had, you know, winning touchdown against ECU and here and there. But do you think maybe this past week, was that maybe kind of your breakout performance here at UCF, you think? I think so. Um, you know, going to the game, you know, I was prepared. Um, I think it showed, you know, just the preparation for the, the whole week, you know, with Coach Harris. Um, you know, you know, he challenged us, you know, throughout the whole week. He challenged us to step up as a group, and I think we did that. What do you think you provide to the running back room with your size? You know, I don't know if Isaiah Bowser's what his health status is, but what do you think you provide? Versatility. You know, I feel like I can catch the ball, I can run the ball, I can block, and yeah, you know, I think that's what I provide. And, you know, I think, you know, I think I showed flashes of that, you know, that SMU game. So, you know, just going forward, just have to capitalize on this game. And, you know, just keep fighting, you know, fight throughout the rest of the season. I think that's what matters most. I don't know how much film you've got a chance to uh, watch for UConn yet, but is this one of those games where the running back rooms looking their chops a little bit? You know, we're all, you know, going to each and every game, you know, we're always looking to make a huge impact. So, you know, going to this game, you know, it's the same mindset, you know, make a huge running back, um, make a huge impact in the running back room. And, you know, I know we'll be prepared going into this game. Uh, what's this season been like for you? Just, you know, I know you transferred in and I know you're familiar with Gus already, but just kind of been a process kind of getting comfortable and getting acclimated. Uh, just kind of how's this, this progression been for you this year? I guess your second year playing college football. I was already kind of you know, acclimated to college, and it was, uh, especially being under Coach Miles. I kind of already understand how everything works and stuff, but just getting here, being around the guys, I mean, it was, you know, just refreshing. You know, it's definitely inspiring, you know, just being around, you know, new faces. Well, new faces, you know, also familiar with some of the guys. You know, from uh, back home, you know, seven and seven and stuff, you know, so just, just, you know, getting here and just working with these guys in the summer, it was just, you know, inspiring, encouraging, and, you know, it's a blessing to be here. What is it like working under Coach Tim Harris and, and his style of coaching with the running backs? You, you know, it's, it's like a family, you know, he's just, he's very inspirational, you know, you know, he knows how to get the best out of his guys, you know, so for me, it's just, you know, I'm learning from him, you know, um, and yeah, he's, he's doing a heck of a job with us, honestly. You know, we all look up to him and, you know, bust out of here. What was the 58-yard run? What play was that? You ran pretty well with that ball. Yeah, so it was a counter play. Um, you know, I think the most important, you know, thing about that play was just patience. You know, having to have the patience to, you know, read the gaps and, you know, try to move the backers. So, you know, I was able to do that. And I saw Crease and I just hit it, you know. What do you think of Johnny Richardson's style of running and, and what is it like working alongside him? I mean, they call him Johnny Rocket for a reason. He's very explosive. That guy can he can score from anywhere on the field. You know, I feel like in this running back room, we all bring something to the table. I mean, he's so explosive. So just you know, watching him, you know, just learning things from him, whether it's uh, you know mastering the dead leg or you know it's whether it's utilizing the whole field, just you know learning from him, you know, as a player, I mean, it's just you know it's definitely helpful. You said you knew some guys from back home, so you kind of knew some guys, some buddies on the team. Who did you know? Who were you familiar with already? Yeah, like Amari Johnson, New, um, Tatum Bethune, Jemiah, who else? Um, so many guys. I yeah. Think right now, but you know, those are just some of the, you know, few names that you know I was already familiar with. You know, when I got here, so yeah, you know, when I came, it was just it was already like a family for me. When you see one teammate after another go down with an injury, what's the weight of that like in the locker room and amongst your teammates? You know, it's definitely, you know, heartbreaking for sure. But, I mean, for us, it's just like you see a guy go down, like you have to step up, you know. You have to you have to want to do it for them. They can't go anymore. Okay, we're going to step up. You know, that's the mindset. You know, I feel like that's the culture you know, that's built here. And so, you know, seeing guys like Bryson go down, it was just, you know, it was definitely heartbreaking. But for me, and I know for this team, we were like, you know, we're going to do it for them. So going, going forward, you know, these next few games, and that's, that's the mindset. What's kind of the vibe like? And Gus was on that elevated platform. I mean, you heard he's not more than happy with the setup. He felt kind of disconnected. I mean, he wants to be on the field, but he kind of felt like not on the field at the same time. Is that is that kind of weird? What was that like as a player when you're looking around? He's not able to chase and follow you, and you kind of have to go over the table. What was that like? It was a bit odd. You know, as we were walking, you know, up and down the sideline, you can kind of you know, look about him, you know, see what he's saying, you know, talk to him a bit. But you know, we're used to having our coach, you know, walking up to you know different position groups and really just you know helping us, you know, communicating it. You know, that's what you're used to. So, you know, I'm quite sure going for it, you know, they'll figure out some different uh, strategy, you know, to, to make that happen. Gus said Dylan Gabriel returned to practice like last night. What was that kind of like? And was it a boost for you guys? And how, how did he look or what was he doing? DG looks good. You know, it's, you know, he's back out there, you know, and just doing what DG does. I mean, just seeing him in his process, you know, through the, through, the, uh, through the injury, seeing how hard he fought to come back, I think that was just very encouraging for this team. 
Um, but of course, he needs a leader. We all need that. Just having him back now, I mean, it's just you know, it's, it's very, uh, very inspirational. You know? I know it's going back to last spring now, but when you made the decision to leave Auburn and come to UCF, obviously reunite with Gus, just what was that decision process like? Did you think long and hard about it, or when you, when you found out Gus was coming in on New Year, Florida guy, was it kind of an easier, easier decision? Well, I guess you could say it was you know an easier decision for me. Um, you know, I really just you know looked into it. Uh, I was familiar, like I said, I was familiar with some of the guys on the team already. Um, so for me, man, it was just uh, it was awesome. You know, I mean, I'm blessed to be here. You know, coaches here it just seems like a perfect fit for me. And I, think, I think at the time, you know, that's what it, that's what it felt like for me, and I don't regret it one bit. Gus has mentioned the leadership of the captains, the seniors. How important has their leadership been? Very important. You know, when you're having injuries, you know, left and right. You know, just having the leadership, you know, that we have, you know, it's just, you know, they're just keeping everybody, you know, on the straight path. You know, nobody seems to to be, um, you know, losing focus whatsoever. Everybody's, you know, dialed in. Then that's a credit to our leadership, you know, so guys like Sam Jackson, Brandon Johnson, DG, Big Cat, you know, those are credit to those guys, you know, just helping us all, you know, stay locked in and, of course, setting an example. That's what they've done, a great job of doing all the season. We're going to finish strong for them, for sure. Obviously, you're a talented runner, but at pass protection when it comes to the college game, is that something that's maybe sometimes a little bit slower to pick up? You got to put in a lot of work with that, more film study. Got to help. What's what's that like as a running back trying to become you know, a master in that skill? You know, it's just like what you would imagine. You know, just uh, extra film, and of course, you know, just working and trying to perfect your craft. You know, that's something that I've definitely um, developed on from the time I got to college. You know, to now, it's definitely something. You know, I, I grew on. You know, because something we're gonna, you know, continue to improve on it, of course. Um, but once again, you know, I believe in my coach, you know, Coach Tim Harris. I know he's gonna help me, you know, get better at it as a running back unit. That's something we definitely work on every single day. Um, so I'm definitely gonna improve, you know, as the season progresses and going into next year, of course. What does it mean just to have these final two home games? I mean, you want to get that taste out of your mouth from last week and to try to finish strong here and end the season on a successful day. It's, it's a blessing you know, to be back home, you know, performing in front of our fans. Um, I, I truly believe this is one of the most exciting atmospheres in all of college football. So just you know, having the opportunity to come back these last few games and perform in front of them, you know, we have to finish strong. There's no if, ands, or buts. We're, we're going to finish strong. It's very obvious that you're close with a lot of your teammates. Are you surprised at how, quote unquote, together the team is? You've talked about that a lot today. No, I'm not surprised. You know, a lot of us, you know, we're all from, you know, similar areas. We're all from Florida, from South Florida. And it's just, you know, when, I know when I first got here, I was deaf. I think that's one of the first things I actually said to Coach, you know, just how humble all these guys were and just they're so, you know, together in a way. So, I mean, just it's no surprise to me, you know, um, just also, you know, just seeing how they fought, you know, how they worked so hard in the summer, all together as a team, you know, you can see why. You know, so for me, that was definitely comforting, you know, coming in and just feeling a family atmosphere, you know. Uh, that's something that, I, that I'm used to. That's something, you know, I grew up, you know, idolizing. So just, it's a blessing to be here with these guys, for sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for